In this video, we talk about five reasons West Coast Swing is harder than other dances. What's up, gang? Brian B., Miss Megan, West Coast Swing Online. We are talking about the reasons, the five reasons why West Coast Swing is harder than other dances. And probably just like you, we also dance uh, ballroom and country and salsa and swing and all sorts of different stuff. And West Coast Swing is one of the trickier dances. I won't necessarily, necessarily say it's the hardest, but uh, there are five main reasons, I believe, why West Coast Swing is harder. Number one, it does not have a mirrored basic. So if we did cha-cha, as I'm moving to the side, Megan's moving to the side. We're moving with each other, it's mirrored. So I can actually teach this in the mirror and everything is the same, right? We learn a waltz box and it's the same thing. I'm moving forward, Megan's moving backwards and everything's the same. Rumba, same deal, it's a mirrored basic, right? So the basic is very easy to understand. So that's number one, it's not a mirrored basic. We have different roles, which leads us to number two, it does not have a single basic. If I said, show me the basic of cha-cha, show me the basic of rumba or of waltz, we would all have the same basic. Well, West Coast Swing has a handful, it's debatable how many basics, but there's at least three basic concepts, pushes, passes, and whips. So in West Coast, you would have to know different pushes, a push break, you would have to know side passes and you would have to know whips, right? And even within that, they're not all the same timing. The pushes and passes are typically six counts. One, two, three, and four, five, and six for your push break, or one, two, three, and four, five, and six for your side passes. And then we get to the darn whip, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And it's a whole eight count pattern um, which is tricky in and of itself. So West Coast has, you know, three basic concepts and then within that maybe six or so, seven, depends on who you talk to, um, how many basics we have. So it does not have one basic. Number one, it's not a mirror dance. Number two, it has multiple basics. Number three is triple steps are hard. So if you're an existing dancer, maybe sorting out the triple steps isn't that difficult, but uh, from teaching a lot of beginners over the years, we realize that it is far easier to do something like a rumba box where there's no triple steps, slow, quick, quick. Whereas West Coast Swing, we have to get into the walk, walk usually doesn't screw us up. Everyone goes walk, walk, and then the triple steps and the timing falls apart. So triple steps are hard, number three. Um, if you got this far, we have created a really cool resource that will answer a lot of the questions. We've created hundreds and hundreds of videos, um, hundreds and hundreds of blog posts, and we have fixes for all of these problems. And to help you navigate, we've created the ultimate resource to West Coast Swing. So we'll link that up in the description below. You can download that. And uh, we have multiple articles on mastering your triple steps, on the basics of West Coast Swing. Um, and then moving on to count or number four, the number four reason is that West Coast Swing relies heavily on connection, right? So in a ballroom dance, we just maintain a single frame and then that at least gets us through the gist of what we're doing. But in West Coast Swing, you're, you're probably gonna learn a sugar push on you know, day one possibly and we're dealing with an away connection that initiates the dance and it's switching to a forward connection and back to an away connection. And that's just for the basic. That's not dealing with rotational connections that create different things and advanced concepts. So West Coast Swing is hard. Reason number four is that it relies heavily on a connection, an away connection into a forward connection. And again, we've got that ebook. There's a whole chapter on different things that you can do with your connections from a beginner all the way to a super advanced dancer. And number five, and this kind of gets you music nerds out there, um, and I use nerd lovingly, um, it's inherently off phrase. So if, again, if we look at a cha-cha basic, we have one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and it starts again, one, two. So we have eight beats of music that work over um, eight, eight steps within our, eight beats within our basic that match eight beats of the music. Same thing with waltz, even though it's not the same timing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and the dance starts again, one, two, three, right? So it's on phrase, it matches. Six beats of basic, six beats of music. Cha-cha, eight beats of basic, eight beats of music. Great. West Coast Swing, we still have eight beats in the music, but we have six beats in our basic. One, two, 
three and four, five and six, and the music goes seven, eight, but we're dancing one again on the seven, eight of the music. Now, if that doesn't bother you, congratulations. There's only four things that bug you about West Coast Swing and make it difficult, um, but the fact that it's inherently off phrase really gets people. Now, again, the confines of this video, I don't want to go into everything you need to know, so that's why we created that ultimate guide to West Coast Swing. It's basically a menu that allows you ac quick, easy access to all of the resources that we've created. So if, um, if the basic bothers you, or you're struggling with your triple steps, or connection is difficult, or the phrasing and musicality, or timing, or staying on time, or remembering your patterns, if any of that stuff is difficult for you, um, click on the link in the description below, download the ebook, scroll through, find the part that bugs you, click the link, boom, we've got a resource to help you. Um, Get better at West Coast Swing. If you've got any questions, uh, shoot us a comment in the description below. Uh, head to the website, westcoastswingonline.com. You can enter your email there. Uh, all sorts of fun resources. And we will see you guys on a dance floor soon. Mm -hmm.